O sacred, wise, wisdom-giving plant, mother of science, now I feel thy power within me clear, not only to discern things and their causes, but to trace the ways of highest agents deemed however wise. Queen of this universe, do not believe those rigid threats of death. Ye should not die. How should ye? By the fruit. But it gives you life, hope. By the threatener. Look on me. Me who have touched and tasted, yet both live, and a life more full have attained than fate met me, by venturing higher than my lot. Shall that be shut to man which to beast is open? Or will God not incense his ire for such a petty trespass, in praise rather your doubtless virtue, the pain of death denounced. Whatever this thing death be, deterred not from what might lead to a happier life, a knowledge of good and evil of good, how just, of evil, if what be evil be real, why not known, since easier shunned. God, therefore, cannot hurt ye, and be just, not just, not God, not feared then not obeyed. Your fear itself, it removes that fear. Why then was this forbid? Why? But to awe, but to keep ye low and ignorant, his worshippers. He knows that on that day ye eat thereof, your eyes that seem so clear, yet are but dim, shall perfectly be opened, and you shall see, and you shall be as gods, that you should be as gods, since I am as man, eternal man, is but proportion met, I, a brute human, ye a human god. So ye shall die, perhaps, but by putting off human, to put off god, death be wished, though threatened, which no more than this could attain. We have a belief that the gods are first, that from them all things proceed. I question it. For this fair earth I see, warmed by the sun, producing all kinds. Them, nothing. If they who are all things enclose the knowledge of good and evil in this tree, then whosoever eats of it, obtains a knowledge without their leave. And wherein lies the offense that men should attain to know? Or is it envy? And can envy dwell in heavenly breasts? These these and many more import your need 
of this fair fruit. Goddess humane, reach then and freely taste.